Well, hi guys, I'm Celestial Shadows, and welcome back to Magical Eyes. And today I'm finally playing with my new computer upgrades. Yay. And last time when I was answering those questions, it said I unlocked something on the title screen, and it was this. The special menu. With extras. So we got graphics, so all the CDs, which really wasn't that many, because the first five were like from the prologue. And it's been like four hours since then. Oh well. And then material, which has nothing. All question marks. Probably, it says location and character description, so apparently I know no, no characters yet. Oh well. And two other locked menus. Magical eyes. Red is for anguish. Yes. Yes it is. And back to where I was. Oh, so that one? Yes. And we're finally on chapter one. And back to the ramen shop. You sighed. Pops, I've got some questions for you. Wakatirze. I know what you want to ask. You want to know what the couple were doing in the park last past midnight, don't you? <laughs> Junior, I'm so you to see what I knew you were old enough to be interested in that. I'm not interested in that in the slightest. For real? What kind of teenager are you? What I want to ask is about the case. The knickknack shop, the crime scene. What was it like there? The place looked way too messed up for it to have been done by only one person. Even heavy shelves reportedly laid on the floor. Plus, they found a lot of slash marks on the walls and shelves. Slash marks from a large blade. That could be the weapon they used to chop Nakawa's arm off. Could be. By the way, it's confirmed that they didn't have any swords that matched the slash, the slash marks in the shop. Which means the blade was brought from the outside. What about the footprints left there? The victim must have been fighting back desperately. The floor was covered with too much scattered goods. I'm glad to pick out any footprints. To begin with, lots of people come and go in there. Like staff and traders. I see. I have a decent grasp of the big picture now. And that's why I noticed something. Pops, why was it this morning that you called me in here? I already have an idea. The soul case occurred a week ago. In the exact same day, the abandoned arm was reported to the authorities, which served as the trigger to consider the doll as a suspect. And three days later, four days before today, the victim recovered enough to tell the police about the doll. None of those points seemed critical enough for Pops to have summoned me here this morning. I assume something happened between yesterday and this morning? How insightful of you, Junior! This you is this list that arrived this morning. Take a look at it. He passes me a piece of paper, and I stare down at it, as told. So, is this the list of the doll's previous owners? We just started working on it, so it's still incomplete. On the paper, I see individual names. They're old and current addresses, and the time periods they own the doll. 
The owners are assorted from newest to oldest, and the oldest known date shows that the doll in question is more than 10 years old. Okay, I can see why I was called. Right? I can tell how bizarre this is without any details. The issue lies in the address section. There are seven fully identified owners, and what's written in there, and for their current addresses, missing. All of them are missing, huh? To our court, yeah, current, can't speak. To our current knowledge, yeah, except for the severely injured shop owner. Can't be a coincidence. Truth be told, I wish it were a coincidence. When did they start putting this list together? Three days ago. I'm tremendously impressed by the capabilities of the disobeyers. Intelligence gathering department. The same way as when I worked on Maras Tomami's case the other day. And I wonder will it say the same thing for the disobeyers. Oh nope. Number one, a plural, a plural form of disobeyer. Number two, the name of the international organization to which two thirds of all the disobeyers belong. There are several rules that they have to follow when they get involved with the general public. And following those rules allows them to cooperate with countries or regions. The fact that the list has the missing people on it, as a result of the three-day three -day investigation by those competent members, tells me. If that's the case, these missing owners are... They're probably dead. They're probably missing for good. They're they have already been declared legally dead. Declared death in abs absentia. absentia. Oh. The legal proce process through which a person is legally declared dead after he or she has been missing for a significant period of time, and when there is no proof for him or her to still be alive. This process is divided into two categories, normal absences and special absences. In most cases that Pops mentioned, those missing people belong into normal absences because it has been over seven years since their families legally, legally reported them missing. You see, the word dead is in parentheses. That's it. Are they thought to be dead because too much time has passed? So you could have shibot or kakarati ringenishimo. That's right. It's not that their bodies have been found. Which means that every one of those on the list is gone as if they never existed. Seven people who own the dollar are all missing. All insane. Nami no jiken nara. Waza waza junior wa yobane daro. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered to. To have you come here. If this case is variant related, it will be categorized as rather severe in terms of the number of victims so far. Have there been any suspects for any of the disappearances? As far as, as far as we know, zero. Some of the victims' relatives had the police search. There were no signs of foul play. All of them went missing, just like that. It sounds like they were all spirited away. When we were looking into the Nicknack shop assault case, we bumped into something more terrible. This might be an inappropriate thing to say, but. I feel like the missing cases weigh much more than the sold case. To make a long story short, the sold case is pretty brutal, but it could be just another robbery. On the contrary, we have no idea what has been going on with the disappearances. Motives, purposes, or scale? Nothing whatsoever. Now, you understand why I need you, 
Right? Yes. あまりに密集な相手となるとジュニアが先方を務めるのが一番だからな。When there's this much we don't know, you're the best vanguard we've got. In a nutshell, I may end up having to charge into the battlefield without knowing who or what awaits me. Actually, that's exactly what we're talking about. I have no problem with that. Seems to have started in my area after all. Zakaya got new in Stero Noga Chuoka Dakara. Moshimo no Bayo Kangate. Back up for any more side of Smurida. Since the shop owner's hospital lies in the central ward, I'm going to poke the love board. The love boards. The love birds as well, just in case. That's very assuring. I don't know how much it would help, but I'd like to ask for permission to go somewhere. Iksakiwa. Where's that? The object professional. Nara, Monday Nashida. What am I most cosy shilly on that smatara? So done, stimulate somebody that does you. A quest granted. I've also been considering talking to him. Once I've got more information, more info. だけどまあ気をつけろよ主に懐具合にな But you've got to be careful especially of your capacity to pay I know that もしもの時は真っ先に連絡を入れるから頼むぜ If anything urgent pops up I'll call you immediately I'm really counting on you After that Now that things have turned out this way to keep myself available so I can respond swiftly to any new information. That won't limit what I can do during Golden Week, but that's what I expected in the first place. The past few years have always been like this. I never get more than a few peaceful days at once. To aye, seikkaku no Golden Week da. Omae no seishitsu wa likai shite ru ga, aru teedo no iki nuki mo wasurezu ni na. But then, it is Golden Week. I understand how diligent you are. But make sure to take some time for yourself. His parting words were clearly suggesting I should amply prepare myself for whatever may come. The rest of my holidays will not be calm. And Nana Nanashido? Slightly unusual knickknack shop that occupies a room in the multi tenant building. Its real identity is a shop that only offers variant related products to the disobeyers. Without technical knowledge, she would have no idea how valuable all those goods can be. Kamasaki Station, rarely occurring its name, it has a major artery in the city's transportation network. While the section that covers my place in the noodle shop is considered more of a commuter town, the station takes on myriad roles. It's not just a hub with multiple routes, but also a complex providing entertainment. Commerce, offices, medical services, and such. Because this area seems to seize so much activity, it's very important to the disobeyers. Accordingly, we have plenty of people and facilities situated here. The north side of the station brims with commercial and entertainment facilities. A short walk from the main thoroughfare. There's a multi-tenant building in a narrow alley. At first glance, the lack of signs on displays gives the impression the building is used for morally questionable purposes. <laughs> My destination is one of the rooms in here. And still on you said. Hello there. Oh dear. I wonder what brought a handsome young man like you to this very out-of-the-way shop. A welcoming cry runs through the store the moment I enter. The source of the un unbashed flattering remark toward the abrupt customer is... <laughs> Sounded like a woman, hello. A young man wearing an unusual outfit, combining a school uniform and a short apron. <laughs> Still does, hello. And let's see. I guess I feel like I've done everything. Should be able to I guess uh just a toned down one, I guess. I don't know. Ah, oh, it's you. 
I just mistook you for a fashion model. Yeah, it's I swear, you grow more gorgeous every time I see you. You must have women throwing themselves all over you at school. Let's get this out of the way. I just came here to ask you some questions. Not to buy anything. God damn it! I was a bloody model! You just got that moan! Why don't you just crawl back in to your dark, humid, human nest and dig the hell around? Okay? So does not make sense in my line at all. But I'll leave it to a specialist. When it comes to objects, I don't know anyone better than Nanashiro, the shop, and Nanashi him himself. And who's Nanashi? His real name is Nanakami. He's a disobeyer who runs the shop Nanashiro. Brickered by the by other disobeyers. Because of his all too virile business business sense, he has various kinds of nicknames. Scrooge, Miser, and Pinchpenny. Apparently he finds that sort of reputation satisfying rather than offensive. Even though he has this slightly very twisted personality, he does possess potent powers and a wealth of knowledge that make up for that. Well, you have to come to come visit here on your own. So I think I'll try to be nice to you. At least on the surface. Probably shouldn't mention the, the on the surface part. Stop being nice the moment you do. If you would like me to be genuinely nice, you're going to need to buy something. Sorry, I didn't bring my wallet today. I have my mobile and travel card with me, so there was no trouble getting here. Well, even if I had my wallet, I wouldn't be able to afford any of the products available here. What the? No wallet? Oh lord. Gotta be blood and kidding me! How the hell could I be nice to a wildless customer? What a letdown. Listen here, Nanashi. You're always too des desperate to rob your customers of everything they've got. As good as a bandit. Excuse me, but what part of, part of that is a problem? But this pure size ever. <laughs> okay, I give up. Our perspectives are just way too different for us to understand each other. For now, I promise I'll buy something from you next time I'm here. For real? I didn't mean to pressure you to do that. I feel so sorry now. Everything you said was meant to make me do this, wasn't it? So, how may I help you? I'll tell you whatever I know! A sort of hard sell, hard sell, almost blackmail dialogue is what he usually exchanges with his customers. However, once a deal has been settled, you always make sure you get your money's worth. Forceful, yet not foul. And that is why he and his shop have considerable credibility with me and a lot of my co-workers. I may work on a doll-related case, and I'd like your advice on your advice as an object expert. A doll? That is one broad category. I suppose this is going to be very challenging. To be realistic, I'm not expecting clear answers. Even just some hints would help. I'm still trying to sort out what I've got from the noodle graveyard just now. If that's the case, I feel a little less pressured. Alright then, could you fill me in on the case? Sure, a week ago. And. <laughs> Exit Nanashiro just to go back to Nanashiro. And still a new side. And that's all I can share with you at this point. Naruhodo. 
所有者全員が行方不明ですか I see. All the owners were missing, huh? ホープダイヤのようなものですかね It could be something similar to the Hope Diamond. And that sounds familiar. The Blue Diamond currently owned by the Smithsonian Institution in the United States. Not only is its value as, as jewel, as jewelry, probably jewelry, but the peculiar history of its past owners has been adding to its legend. The jewel is also known as a cursed gem that brings harm to its owners. Is that the diamond that they say brings calamity to its owners? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. People talk about how cursed that thing is, but it's been mostly made up. And you su suspect the stall is a similar sort of cursed object? Well, before answering that, Did you know that there are plenty of spooky stories and folk tales about dolls across the globe? I'm not sure about folk tales, but I'd say spooky stories about them are a stock material. A doll whose hair grows longer, or one chasing after you with a murder weapon in hand, you name it. Um, I don't know about the, the first one sounds like the grudge, but the second one is definitely Chucky. それらの話の中には実際に物理化した人形が元になっているケースが多数あるんです Many of those stories are based off dolls that turned into material variants それくらいに人形というのは物理としては珍しくありません Which goes to show how high the likelihood is for dolls to become material variants So the point is it's not surprising that the doll has something to do with this case そのためにも To find out, there's one more thing I'd like to ask you. So, no, 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 It tells the era the doll was made in, or rather, that it wasn't made in the recent past. When it was made, is that a key factor? Eh, Showa no Shoki Izen wa, Shushu Hin ya, Misemo no Nanka no Bunya de, Ningo wa totemo Mijika no Mono da Tondes. It is. Until the early Showa period, a great number of people who Would collect dolls or use them for entertainment shows. Dolls were commonplace like that back then. The older dolls used in Girls' Day looked tidier than what we have these days, if you ask me. And more recent times, they have become a standard kids' toy. Material variants are entities that are born when they receive strong human emotions. So, I'm not sure that 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 I'm People will consider them a bit crazy. And that is why all dolls are vastly dominant compared to recent ones in terms of material variants. That explains Nanashi's concern over the doll's age. Do you suspect the doll is one, of, is one that has caused all the missing people? I wouldn't deny the doll has been used as a tool, but I would say the culprit is a human. What makes you think that? Everything that has happened so far, it all smells human to me. What do you mean, smells human? 
自分の体一つで戦うタイプですから時間がないかもしれませんが I assume you have no idea what it's like because you're capable of fighting on your own without the assistance of material variants but ありえないくらい切れるナイフだったり足が速くなる靴だったり特別な力を持っているとはいえ物意はやっぱりものなんです There are all kinds of material variants out there Knife that cuts unbelievable, unbelievably well, or shoes that grant incredible speed. But whatever special abilities they may have, they're still objects. Dogu de aru kara ni wa, kekyo ku wa dare ga dou tsukau ka ga kimo ni narimasu. So long as they're objects, the most important thing you should think about is who uses them and how. Konkai de iye ba, hito o kesu toyu shikumi wa motta ningyo ga iru ka mo shire nai. As for the case you have now, The doll could have a mechanism to make people disappear. But it's a human being that uses the doll to do it? That's the feeling I'm getting about the case. Do you think the fictional dolls that spring to mind from movies and spooky stories would bother to destroy evidence after they attack someone? In the first place, they would probably kick down doors and stuff before attacking anyone. And that would leave a lot of evidence behind. That sounds about right. There would be no need to open the front door to enter someone's house if all the doll wanted to accomplish was erasing people. The fact that the culprit tried to leave no trails behind and assaulted a particular individual means they are human. I've gotten through innumerable variant cases myself, but I've never seen a variant that did cover ups like that. Whether they are humans, objects, or animals, variants exist only to fulfill their wants. ただ直線的に最短で行動しますから。And they act in the most straightforward and quickest way they can possibly think of. Why would a carnivorous beast clean up the leftover prey? I'm aware that it is an extreme example, but that must be what he's trying to get across to me. By the way, what's your opinion on what the owner said? Hmm. 髪が伸びるとか動き回るとかそういう人形医は見たことがありますけどね。Uh, at least I've seen varying dolls that had growing hair or moved around. So those really do exist, huh? Given the fact, Given the fact that not only did they attack him, but they even took the severed arm, that makes me feel like there was a human intent behind it. Hanashi seems to be speculating that both of the events were caused by a human. Looking at it realistically, the whole thing could be something the shop owner made up to cover up a slightly psychotic robbery. Even if he's telling the truth, everything is doable if there are bears capable of manipulating dolls or rewriting memories behind it. There's also a possibility that the doll is a distinctive material variant, and some man in the street could have used it for the assault. I didn't think the possibilities were this endless. So, how do you like my answers? My pieces of merchandise, that is. Thanks a lot. It was all really helpful. I'm glad that it pleased you. 最初に言ったように参考にできる情報があまりに少ないですから。But as I told you when we started this conversation, I don't have enough data to provide anything more plausible. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to take everything you said at face value. But rats, I wish I'd brought the files with me here to show you. 仕方ありませんよ。情報の閲覧はできても持ち出しとなると担当者でも基本許されないんですよね。No helping it. You have permission to browse the files freely, but aren't allowed to carry them out even if, even if you're in charge of the case, right? 
still could have gotten the doll's picture here, though. I'm sure it doesn't tell you any personal information or any elements linking to us. The doll's picture? Now I want to take a look at it. I think I should probably ask Pots to send it to me. You don't have to go that far. I needed your advice. But if you do that, it'll make me feel sorry. More like make me feel scared. Scared it will charge extra. <laughs> no worries. Now that you're officially my business partner, I can't stand being irresponsible with the intel I hand you. Of course, there won't be any extra charge for you. Well, um, that makes me even more worried. Oh, please, yeah. I never work for free as long as blood flows through my veins. Of course there's a catch. Who really says shocking things just like that? This case is profitable for me, too. What do you mean? Even though, I said it's likely that the case is caused by humans, I can't rule out the small possibility that the doll itself did it. So If I can get to see such a rare doll, I'll spare no effort or expense to make it happen. Ah, oh, that makes sense. In that case, you want me to get the picture from Pops right now? Whatever reason is behind it, it cannot hurt to run a little errand like that. The it's a famous Hanashiro is going to assist me free of charge. No, I'm good. Otherwise, it would get angry at me. Angry? For what? You're too good to use as a messenger pigeon. I don't think that it's that big of a deal. I'm going to catch Pops later myself. I'm sure he'll take good care of me, because he owes me a lot. Pops' shoes, I'll definitely try to pay it off as quickly as possible, even if the price were a little too steep. Now that she is going to get his hands on a copy of the doll's picture for sure, unless something extremely unexpected comes up. Just like in all stories and mysteries. <laughs> Knowing him, my picture should be here today. If you have a chance to visit tomorrow, I'll be able to offer my comments based on the picture. You got it. I'll find the time. Even if not, she has some kind of ulterior motive. It's very reassuring that I'll get to hear his opinion at least one more time. I guess I'll come back tomorrow morning. And save. And already starting to build up the first page. <laughs>